come today to bring you a message. Things are changing and everyone's affected. From childcare to healthcare and all things in between. We are amidst a crisis. Do you know what I mean? Luxury housing is being built at an expeditious rate. It's the quiet storm that's gonna seal this community fate. Our neighbors can't afford to stay in the same community that they helped to develop. We are being displaced. Let me tell you this. You see affordable housing? That isn't affordable anymore. Affordable housing? Man, that's out the door. So tell me, tell me, isn't it a shame? How can it be business as usual when things aren't the same? Economic development is vital to a thriving community's peace, so how can business owners sustain when upon renewal, landlords go up thousands on their lease? From Nostrin to Flatbush to Utica, look around. It's a terrible thing when mom and pop shops gotta shut down. So I know you see it. Tell me you feel it. I know you see the change. Why are we moving as business as usual when things aren't the same? I mean, now they're talking about shutting down hospitals. I know we had to restructure, but really, is this what it has come to? Lynch, Interfaith, and Brookdale, we stand in solidarity with you. Just call on my community, and trust me, we're gonna come through. So you guys have to understand, it's those healthcare institutions today and ours tomorrow. Kings County, Kingsbrook Jewish, and Downstate. Don't worry, we got you. When it's this time of year, I get a little nervous because for some reason, this heat breeds violence and someone's gonna be laid to rest. Now is the time for us to stop killing each other because it really doesn't even make any sense. Now is the time for us to come together to uplift one another, to empower one another. It's just as simple as that. Elected officials, do you hear me? Because these next few lines are for you. Our community needs a community center. Let the Bedford Union Armory be served as a multi-purpose facility. I mean, if you're really talking about community change, then this is what we really need. Our youth are idle and they don't have enough positive places to go. So they hang out, they get into mischief, and well, we know how that story goes. To the advocates before me, I pay you nothing but homage and respect. But it's time to bridge this generational gap so we could get all these situations correct. Now, yes, my name is Diana Richardson, and I am running for state committee woman. But this movement, again, I said, this movement has nothing to do with me and everything to do with all of us. As a community, I need us to believe in the unity and the strength that we have. Believe in our ability to unite and trust that. So I'm asking you to stand with me and take this journey. Stand with me and take these steps. Stand with me and know that he will do the rest because now is the time.